Okay, so as I'm approaching, ooh, you know, like I said, the cops think that they're scaring someone. They're not scaring anyone. Certainly not scaring me. But as you see, you know, and like I said, I don't care. So I really don't. But, you know, as you can see, and this will be posted to YouTube. So, but, you know, I mean, you see, I can't really see because, you know, flashing lights, but you see here, you know. I don't know what's going on, but I really don't. Too much care, but I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but anyways, you see, <laughs> I'm walking through here. I'm just going to work, you know, like I usually do. So, yeah, now. But I'm guessing, I don't know. Maybe he's get off the road or something. I don't know. But, oh, it's Duke Energy. Oh, go figure. Go figure. Nothing important, like I said. But, anyways, as you saw. Like I said, girl, I walk through like a boss, girl, because I don't care. I like a boss. So, but yeah, they got this closed off, girl. Ain't nobody coming through a hole. Anybody coming through? <laughs> no one's coming through here at this moment. So, you know. But I'm guessing because, you know, the gang stalking and things, you know. Yeah, but girl, let me tell you, I was doing a, a Twitter broadcast, you know, like 10, 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes ago. Or whatever I was walking I was walking I was walking and of course I couldn't turn my um, flashlight on because you know with the camera going you can't turn the flashlight on as well which you know I understand but I was walking and this car swiped me well I swiped my bag you know it hit my bag you know that I'm carrying on my left on my left side you know and they had their lights on so I know they did it purposely you know, but like I said, that's what they do. You know, thankfully I wasn't hurt. But, you know, had I not had my bags, then I, it probably would actually hit me, you know. So, I'm glad that, you know, I had the cushion, you know. But, you know, I don't know. No, my. There goes that, as usual. But now my, I'm sweating, my face is sweating. It was cool, but now it's hot. Like I said, it, it's hot in some places and cool in others, so. But anyways, you know, maybe the cops were there for a reason, I don't know. You know, they say God always places, you know, people there. Maybe they were trying to help If So, you know, kudos to them. If that's, what the, it's, if that's what they were doing, kudos to them. But, you know. But, you know, hopefully this video turned out okay, because, you know, like I said, I can't really see too much of what's, you know. It's not that I can't see it because I'm blind or whatever, but it, I have these glass, these sunglasses on, so, you know. But hopefully and then the camera isn't really as I'm walking it's not that focused so you know because to be honest it's really not that great of a camera on my phone but you know, I got what I got so you know you see this car here doing a u-turn going down Pumpernickel. Which 
is what this shirt is called, I believe. Humpernickel Road. See if I can see it. Like I said, they love to use these back roads. Gang stalkers do. So, as you can see, on my way to work, you know, I'm kind of on time, which is good. Hopefully, I actually get there on time because I still have about. Um, 10 minutes. So, um, you know, a few over 10, you know, a few minutes over 10, so, you know, to get there. But this car is still here for the past three days. Not that I hear, but it's here. So, I'm in this video here. And things.